everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to explore something exciting. We'll be comparing two powerful AI models, the Flux model and the Fine-Tuned Portrait FL model, which is a fine-tuned version of Flux.dev. We'll see how these models work, how to use them, and why fine-tuning can make your images look even more realistic. So, let's dive in and learn how this model can take your image generation to the next level. First, let's talk about AW Portrait FL. It is a fine-tuned model based on Flux.dev, fine-tuned with nearly 2,000 fashion photography photos to create highly realistic portraits with a focus on composition, detail, and skin textures. Fine-tuning makes the model perform better in areas like lighting, skin texture, and overall realism. Think of it as a model that has been trained to improve its artistic output. Here is an image rendered through the Flux model, and another using the AW Portrait FL model. You can see the comparison. So, why is the AW Portrait FL model better, while the Flux.dev model does a great job? The fine-tuned version, AW Portrait FL, takes it to the next level by focusing on more delicate details. The additional training helps the model understand realism, lighting, composition, and textures, making the images look incredible. The original Flux model is great, but once fine-tuned, it becomes a master artist, producing polished and professional results. This extra training adds more knowledge to the model making it much more effective at. Here are the three files you can see in different versions. AW Portrait Aid Safe Tensors. If you have low VRAM, you can use this version. If you have high VRAM, like 12 GB or more, you can use the AW Portrait FL Safe Tensor, which is 23 GB in size. You can also use the LoRa version. You can download this file from here and save it to your system. Now, let's see how it all works. First, we'll set up the Flux.dev model without fine-tuning. This is the workflow in the Unit Name section. You can choose any model, and we can make a copy of this workflow to compare the fine-tuned model with the original. In the Unit Name, I'll choose the Portrait FL FP8 Safe Tensor, and for comparison, I'll select Flux.dev FP8 Safe Tensor. Let's enter another prompt and run. Run it. So, this image is generated using the fine tuned model, and this one without fine tuning. If you see the difference, the fine tuned image looks more realistic, while the other one has a bit of a plastic look. Look closely, and you'll notice the fine tuned image looks more lifelike. Now, let's try the AW Portrait FL model. Zoom in and check the lighting. On her face, you can see that the fine-tuned model creates a more realistic effect. Let's try another prompt to compare the difference further. If you compare both images again, you'll see the fine-tuned model produces more realistic results compared to the original. It adds better lighting and makes the portrait more lifelike. We can use Laura also. Maybe if you can use LoRa. In Flux DIV FP8 model, this LoRa has been added, and you don't want to use a W portrait, so what you have and you have creating some images, and after using the LoRa in without fine tune model, you can check it look. More realistic skin look realistic, and this one is great if you enjoy this video and want to learn more about, so like this video and subscribe this channel.